Ladies and gentlemen, fight number three this evening will be contested in the middleweight division of a three, three minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 84.2 kilos and trains out of Combat Lab Martial Arts, holding an amateur record of three wins for one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dan the Danger Stavely. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 84.5 kilos and trains out of Combat Training Center, holding an undefeated record of one win for zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Thomas Cooper. When the action begins, your referee in charge, Phil Cassidy. Phil Cassidy has his hands full he does. with this bout. In the middleweight division, Daniel Stavely in the blue, Thomas Cooper in the red. And here we go, they touch him up. And ladies and gentlemen, needless to say, don't blink for this one. Daniel Stavely landing early from the outside there. Ben Vickers, take us away. Well, we know the, the combat lab are renowned for their jiu-jitsu. They're very um, tricky on the ground. So this might not be too bad for Dan. He was looking very intense at the start of that fight. And, I'm, the, sitting, um, and I'm sitting right next to, uh, sorry to cut you off, Ben, but I'm sitting right next to one of Daniel Stavely's The Danger, one of his teammates, the man they call Das Vader, the Anaconda Master, Daniel Maudsley. As you can see there, Thomas Cooper landing some good shots from full guard. Yeah, look, both of these boys have been training for a long time. They take, they take it very seriously. Um, Tom's been training for as, as long as anyone, even though his record wouldn't suggest it. Well, speaking of training, he does represent CMBT. Big shots, big, big shots, shots from, from the, the open guard. guard here. And this is a good position for Thomas Cooper. Daniel Stavely working very hard oh, as he tries to isolate bar. an arm. Look at those long limbs, but no problems for Thomas Cooper. He fights his way out of that and returns to what has worked best for him here in round number one. That was a clean punch. We heard the full force of that land on the chin of Thomas Cooper. My he said goodness. thank you very much and gave one back. Well, this pressure again. This is Thomas Cooper is two from two from takedowns tonight, Ben Vickers. These are middleweights fighting like flyweights at the moment. The scrambles, the exchanges, it's, it's up and down. It's, it's Mate, I can't get enough of it. Well, they were right in front of us earlier on, and I tell you what, both of these men making their mark early, making their very, very bad intentions known to one another as we find Thomas Cooper in a strong position, just locking up Daniel Stavely yeah, look, in Stav half Stavely's got a Kimura here, so Dan's being very careful. I mean, it's hard to finish from there, but you do have to be disciplined with it. He's, he's rolled out, and that was a great use of the Kimura to sweep. But Tom's managed to maintain top position there, which is fantastic in the scramble. And this is high-level grappling we're seeing here, Ben. I mean, you know, you, you call these guys amateurs, they're fighting like pros at this stage. That's a big shot from Thomas Cooper. Thomas' ground and pound is, is very effective. He, he throws with purpose. He doesn't waste too much. He's a powerful man. He's got a, that short uh, squat frame. He's, he's frying from the hips. He means it. And, yes, amateur is different now. Well, we saw Daniel Stavely in his last fight weathered the storm of fight Ta Maletor. Can he weather the storm here early in round one? It seems that he will make it out of this round. Nonetheless, Thomas Cooper may have something to say about that. Right there. Wow. What a round of action. Yeah, look, well, uh, well, I'm excited for the second round. Let's see, what, let's see what happens here. Can't wait for the second round. And as we take a look at both of these guys, in great conditioning, Phil Cassidy having a word to Daniel Stavely there. The danger. Well, and if you want to talk about credential corners, you've got Ty Duncan in Dan Stavely's corner, a former Eternal MMA champion. Unfortunately, Jack Della took his belt, but we don't talk about that too often. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Only yourself, Ben Vickers, has something to say about your man, Jack Della. Congratulations to him. 
But you do mention Ty Duncan in the corner. Yeah, a of great Daniel mind. Stavely. Fantastic grappler, as they all are out well, of Combat Lab. And you've also got Darcy Vendy in the corner, an eternal stalwart in his own right of Thomas Cooper. And these guys deciding to keep the fight on the feet early in the second. Oh, as a big right hand big for shot. Thomas Cooper. Daniel is teak tough, but he can't take too many more of these. He needs to, he needs to work on the defense instead of throwing back. And it's more of the same from what we saw here in round number one. Thomas Cooper landing some big shots. As he's successful with a takedown, and they're right in front of us. Ben Vickers, yes, you are Thomas Cooper. Keep working, guys. Let's advance. You can hear the instruction there from Phil Cassidy. He wants to see some work. He wants to see some action. Ben Vickers, what are you looking for here? Look, I'm, I'm loath to start giving instructions with the guys' heads pressed against the cage right next to me because I, I wouldn't want to be um, helping anyone out. But what I will say is these boys are fighting a, a middleweight fight at such a pace. If the cardio can hold up. And Dan's great work from Dan there. Well, he's got both hands clasped. Oh, lo lovely rollout of that ten-finger guillotine. I think it was that guillotine slash front stroke. They've these got are, Thomas these are out of trouble. extremely high-level grappling oh. exchanges. Oh, absolutely, and you wouldn't expect anything less. Both gyms notable for their high level of grappling. You can definitely say that Daniel Stavely would have paid his rounds in the gym, paid his dues in the gym with several rounds, rather. Ty Duncan, as you mentioned earlier, and none other than Eternal Zone. Das Vader, Daniel Maudsley as Thomas Cooper. He's got to be the careful there. Here. He was catching the ear, which is fine, but it would be a shame to to lose the position. Good sprawl, powerful hips. And he's back on that guillotine again. It's a good position for Thomas Cooper. Daniel Stavely showing some big heart at the moment. He's actually, as soon as um, Tom lets go of the neck, he's got to be careful of that, that underhook, but he's, he's stepped over the leg. This is great work from Thomas Cooper, but take nothing away from Daniel Stabler. He is still well and truly in this fight, is he? The sound of that. It's a nice leg kick there, and uh, that one. The stomp. I tell you what, any lower, you couldn't get any closer to the toolbox. That was there. perfect. <laughs> Ten seconds left in round number two. And you'd have to say... The momentum starting to shift. Speaking of close, ladies and gentlemen, we are seconds out from round number three. Daniel Stabley, Thomas Cooper, our middleweight premier bout here at Eternal 58. And uh, if you're joining us from home, you are certainly making the most of your time here at Eternal 58. <laughs> Phil Cassidy. These boys want to go. Dan, they want to go, key. and here we go. He's Round still got a three. smile on his face. He is incredibly hard because he has worn a lot of punches from Tom, who I guarantee you doesn't punch softly. And he's still in this, and he's still dangerous, and, and Thomas needs to mind his P's and Q's and, and keep his eye on the ball to get through this round and get the job done. But Dan is, um, knows what he needs to do. Daniel Stavely, he had a big right hand there, but full credit to him, he comes back and starts applying pressure to Thomas Cooper as he finds himself with... Tom's got double underhooks here, yeah. so yeah. Oh, and look at that straight level change. That level change is really quick. And a big slam there. And more of the same is going to come here, this, these, um, this ground and pound. Well, he makes it look easy, does Thomas Cooper. Big double leg takedown there, steps straight over. Dan's on the Kimura again. So he's just keeping him honest with that Kimura, not allowing him to do too much. Would you agree, Ben, that for every uh, aspect of attack that Thomas Cooper has thrown, Daniel Stabley has done quite well to defend so far? Oh, absolutely, yeah. He's, he's, not been, um, he's not been overwhelmed at any stage. You know, he's definitely on the back foot and he's definitely defending, but he's defending really well and, you know, he's, he's still in the fight. Well and truly still in this fight I mean, as he looks to he's isolate got the left arm. wrist locked. Uh, Hands locked on that figure four. I mean, the position doesn't favor he's let go now. But it, it, you know what it did? While, while he was attacking, he wasn't getting punched in the face. You know, So it was a fantastic um, defensive ploy. 
And if Tom would have made a mistake, he would have been able to capitalise. But Tom's very switched on, knew, knew the danger and, and just rode it out. But yeah, wasn't able to get any damage off. Here he goes again, looking for it. He's, he's looking for it. It's everywhere. That figure four position is everywhere. You've just got to be crafty enough to grab it. Well, as you said, he knew the danger from the man they this call the danger. Position. But this is a bad spot. Good no, movement. Stably. You know, Daniel never stays still. No. You know, and stillness is, is what will, will be the end here. So fair play to him. He's always moving his hips. He's always making Tom react and change and change his own position so that he can't get as much damage off as he, he might possibly. As we count down the final 45 seconds of this fight, ladies and gentlemen, we are just getting started here at Eternal. 58 in this middleweight premier bout this evening has done nothing but deliver here tonight. Yeah, look, the whole card, the first three fights of this card, I mean, they've put the pressure on the rest of the card to, to step up. And we're into the last 10 seconds of, of the third round. Dan's throwing some, some leather from the bottom. Unfortunately, it's just not going to be enough for him, I don't think. And for the third time this evening, ladies and gentlemen, the judges have a massive task on their hands as we see the respect shown yeah. by both men. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored about 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Thomas Cooper. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our winner, Thomas Cooper, and a dominant display there, 30-27 on all three cards. Game plan seemed to be pretty wrestling heavy. Was that the thought coming in? Um, no, not really. He just took a few shots, and I was like, fuck, I'm not going to stand there and blow my board trying to take him out. And I knew watching videos of him too, he's a fucking game lad, so... But I just thought, fuck it, I'll just drown the cunt. Well, you did a great job at that, and of course, Coming in here tonight, like you mentioned, Dan's sort of known for his durability, so I'm sure you were in for a, a long night before you got in here, and your cardio looked fantastic. I didn't even train my cardio, to be honest. <laughs> we just trained that well at Combat Training Center. That, that was a good enough cardio for me, you know what I mean? We did our tech days, we did our hard days, and it just all comes together. Well, I think I speak for the rest of the Australian MMA scene when I say, please don't keep us another seven years waiting for the next fight. When can we... Oh, wait, it was five, it was five, fucking seven. Five years. Well, there we go. Well, I can't wait to see it again. Let's hope it's quicker than five. Thanks. I just want to say a quick thank you to Combat Training Center, all the lads in my gym, um, AB Physio, and Yoel from Duncan Physio. Thank you so much for all the help. And Chris Williams from Olympus. Where the fuck are you? I know you're in here somewhere, you big cunt. He's somewhere in here. Anyway, thank you so much for helping me out with my weight cut and shit. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause for your winner. Remains undefeated, Thomas Cooper.